Hello everyone, today I have a basic supermarket inventory and billing system and in this system you can basically log in here by the username and password okay we are finally redirect to the dashboard panel and this is the dashboard panel and in the dashboard panel we have the different module like um, this is the make quick sales module and this is the bucket module which you sales to the customer here in the sidebar um, there are different module and i'm going to demonstrate this one by one and this is the login logout system change password system okay i'm moving to the user management panel and this is the user management panel and you can register the user from here by his full name and email username and one of the important things is role role is controllable by super admin and this is the password and you can register and then go back to the dashboard again and this is the module management panel and this is the module management we can create a new module and we define the module name module key module url and the module uh, basically the module are displayed in the sidebar these all are coming through the module management part and if module icon you can choose this anyone and we move to the permission management permission management module is the you know, what functionality can use the user or salesman or any other user each role have the different permission to access the system feature that's the uh, permission management module and go to the role management and here is we define the assign the permission for the user assign the permission to the user super admin have the full access over the control the system but if you can see the admin we have some of the feature available for the admin and the salesman who have now no any feature access Mm, and we go to the mm, product category management and this is the simply you know, product category insert and product category panel product management module in this module we can add the product first of all you have to select the product category then you can name the product and co product code quantity price and status and we moving to the Mm, sales management mm, you can choose the product what you want to sell to the customer and if you say choose the product and uh, it automatically display the available stock uh, its price how much quantity do you want to sell you can enter from here uh, now I'm entering one then make sales it is Ajax base um, card system and the sales module is also included in the dashboard panel and we demonstrate through the dashboard now we move to the uh, expenses panel this is the expenses and you can create a new expenses here we can add the expenses and like uh, what expense bill expenses to the party name and total amount paid amount product name of like something and view expenses you can view any paid amount then if you have not paid the full amount and then display into the due amount and this is the expenses module and basically the purchase module is for the um, organizational internal purchase record like um, you know, system um, like uh, system setup charge refrigerator and etc and here is the purchase status normal bill bad bill or pan bill and we move to the banking transaction module 
and here is the banking transaction module how much amount deposit in the bank and how much to, um, to be remaining to deposit in the bank um, it manages this module and finally we move to the main system billing system and it is in and we have the different three product category and is total price grand total 360 price and then if you are finally sales mm, the product for one user you can print the bill bill is like this format total product name quantity etc these records are recorded into the sales management module view sales report and this is the uh, sales record module what you sales during this and sales report module also available a report from this date to this date and you can download the report if you log in by the user um, you have limited access to the system you can only um, sales the system or purchase management expenses limited you have no um, role management module management permission feature for the admin user admin so you can it can be defined by the super admin